It's ruined. It's terrible. Money is burning. No. What's up, guys? We're back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Ghost from the Past set the updates that we have now. We haven't talked about this in a long time. I made a shorts video a long time ago, back when the hype was at its peak. But yeah, Konami just finally announced the fifth ghost rare. It's not Dark Magician Girl. The fifth ghost rare was Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, not the Dark Magician Girl. But does that mean that the set itself sucks? It sucks that Dark Magician Girl's not in there, but does the set suck? That's what we're going to talk about today. So based on a ton of YouTubers opening some stuff Konami sent them, we have the entire set list. So we have all five ghost rares. I think there's 137 other cards. I think they're all ultra rares in this set. We have the whole list. So we can tell now basically is the set good? Is it not? Before it was purely speculation based on the ghost rares because we only knew four of the ghost rares, which by the way are still awesome. We didn't know any of the regular cards. We didn't know the fifth ghost rare, but now we know all of it. So based on watching House of Champs, or John's video, he went over all the cards and the regular cards are, eh, they aren't that good. I don't think they're that great for the meta players. They're definitely not that cool for collectors, at least in my opinion. I wasn't really excited about any of the regular 137 cards that weren't ghost rares. So that was a bit, a little bit scary for the set. I think most of the cards were like rarity upgrades for some current cards and stuff like that. So it wasn't anything like a huge reprint. I think evenly matches in there rather than being in that structure deck that the OCG got. It's like a kind of good that that's in there, but it's also like, I'm sure a lot of people are mad about that. So that's kind of like the biggest card. I think there weren't too many huge cards other than the ghosts, but as collectors, the ghost rares, guys, this is by far the best ghost rare set ever. Normally, almost every other set has had one or zero ghost rares. Haunted Mine had five ghost rares, but one of them was great, and two of them were decent, like Mystical Space Typhoon and Solemn Judgment. Those were both decent. The rest of them were kind of eh, like not that exciting. In this set, we have five ghost rares. We have Dark Magician, huge hit. We have Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. While it is a newer card, it's a Blue Eyes card. That's a huge hit. We have Blockluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, huge hit in my opinion. I think it's a really cool card, even though it's a Link Monster. Probably the coolest Link Monster in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of different opinions about that, but it's really cool. There's Firewall Dragon, which is, in my opinion, not as cool, but it's still a big card. A lot of people either hate, you know, they have strong opinions about, which is always nice to have a good card that their opinions about it. So that's a Ghost Rare. That's cool. And then the fifth one, the Crystal Wing, probably the worst one, but honestly a cool looking card. So not really that bad for being the worst Ghost Rare. So overall, the Ghost Rares are absolutely insane compared to any other set ever. So that's like the positive. Like just remember, a lot of people bought in at the hype, the, the huge prices because they were expecting Dark Magician Girl, which now they're probably going to be lower, but that's okay because this is still a great set. So if you really want to make your money back in the end, I think keeping it sealed will definitely, you know, make your money back eventually. You just got to be patient. Or you can open it up and go for that Dark Magician, which if that thing gets great, is going to be worth something for sure. Because the Dark Magician in the TCG first Ghost Rare is going to be huge. That's just a big card. That itself would make a set pretty decent. And then there's also some other good ghost rares. So that's why I think it's not totally time to panic yet, even though the announcements were pretty underwhelming. Yeah, so I am pretty, I, I was slightly disappointed with the list, but that's just because we had hyped it up so much. It was already gonna be so great with the ghost rares. We don't really know. Well, I guess we probably could figure out the pull rates. I haven't seen a video about that or anything. I know there are a ton of people that opened them, but they weren't opening a ton of boxes and stuff. So it's kind of hard to tell exactly what the ratios are going to be, but it seems like they're not too hard to pull, but also not like every mini box like Haunted Mine. So that's pretty cool. So overall, I'm still really excited about Haunted Mine. I definitely think if you see it at the store, if, you, if that's even possible to find a Yu-Gi-Oh product at the store, pick it up for sure at retail price. Online, I can't say if I think market price is going to be okay right now because market price is still really high. So it's up to you. Do you want to search for the ghost? Do you want to invest that money? Because I don't think you're going to make your money back opening at market price because that's just how it works because the market price, if you could make your money back every time, then obviously that's not the market price. It would just go up. So right now I think it's kind of a iffy on the market price, but the retail price, definitely pick it up. Got to be an awesome set. Still probably one of the strongest sets for, especially for collectors of 2021. Probably won't beat Ghost Rare Dark Magician, but you never know. They might see how much you guys like Dark Magician Girl on the hype and be like, yeah, let's put that on the next set. And then maybe that's the next best set. So it's pretty exciting to see some cool Ghost Rares. I hope that the set is better than we think, or at least as good as we think. It's because right now it's looking pretty good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about the Ghost Rare set. It's going to be pretty awesome. Ghost from the past coming out in about like two to three weeks, something like that. And we're definitely going to be opening a ton of it. 
a ton of it on this channel. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video, subscribe, and also we're opening first edition magicians for us, so maybe we can find that dark magician girl there. And that's it for this one. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>